Hi, I'm certainly glad you could join me today. Let's do a fantastic painting together today. I thought today we'd do a happy little seascape. And I've got a black canvas up here, as you can see. And we make these black canvases by covering them completely with black gesso and allowing that to, to dry. And then on top of that, I've added, on the top portion here, I've added a mixture of midnight black and a little bit of phthalo blue mixed with it. And same thing down here, except for one little strip, I've added a little bit of phthalo green. So we've got midnight black, phthalo blue, a little midnight black and phthalo green right in here. I'm gonna have a big wave, I think, in here. And right across here, slightly above center, I have a piece of masking tape, so that'll give us a nice straight horizon. Let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this picture, and we'll go on up here and get started. Today, let's start out with the old two-inch brush. I'll show you a very simple little sky. Let's go right into titanium white. Now, once you put these colors on the, on the black canvas that's covered with a black gesso, don't allow, the, don't allow these colors to dry. This, this blue and black that we have up here, don't allow that to dry before you start. Okay, I've got a little bit of titanium white on the brush, so let's go up here and maybe, maybe there's a big, look here. We'll just come right along in here and do something like that. We're gonna check you out for bravery today. Just, just bring it right in here. Now see, it's gonna pick up the color that's on the canvas and all kinds of fantastic little things will happen. I want that a little brighter right in there. Now I'm just gonna start using little X's, little X's and blend it. Now this continually will mix with the color that's on the canvas and things will happen. Beautiful little things will happen. I'll pull that straight down right here like there's a little light coming out from under this big cloud. There. See, just pull it down. Like so. Hmm. This is a nice, easy way to make a very effective sky. And you can also use this for landscapes. It's, it's not only for seascapes, it'll work with some of your landscapes that you're doing too. Just using little crisscross strokes and blend it. brighter in here. This is going to be my light source. So I want this to be a little bit brighter right through here. Like that. See? Isn't that easy? Okay, now up in here. Up in here. This is going to be a big old cloud, so it's going to be the brightest area is going to be right here if the light's behind this big cloud. So we'll start here with our lightest color and just let it blend outward. But I want to retain this dark edge. There we go. Boy, this is going to be a mean looking old seascape. The storm is coming. You better get out your wading boots if you live close to the ocean. Mm. Good dark sky. Mean sky. And when you're painting, make up little stories. Think about it. Think about little things that are happening in, in your mind. Just, just visualize little things, and it'll help you create the mood that you're looking for. There we go. Now then, maybe let me grab an old fan brush here. Still using just titanium white. Just load a little color on here, back and forth. Maybe there's a happy little cloud that lives right up in here. And just use the corner of the brush. Just the corner of the brush. And you can put a little cloud in there. We just put a couple in so you can see how to do them. And when you do your seascape, you put as many or as few in as you want. Maybe there's one. He does right there. He lives right there and he's got a little friend named George. He floats right around out here. There we go. Okay, now we can take the large brush, and I just want to blend the base of this cloud, not touching the top yet at all. See, just the base. Then give it a little upward flip and lightly blend it. And that easy, you got a super little cloud. A little what here, a little bit there. Give it a little fluff. Give it a little 
blend. And there's a couple of more clouds. And that easy, you have a fantastic little sky. I think you'll like this one, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Nothing else you'll like cleaning the brush. That's the most fun in this whole technique. Now then, as I said, we had a piece of masking tape across here. Now when we pull this off, that'll assure us that we have a nice straight horizon. And it's one of the easiest ways I've ever found of being sure that your horizon is nice and straight. Okay. Now then, we can take a little of the black and a little bit of the blue and just rub a little color right up on here. So it's all covered. There we are. And we're ready. Now, huh? I get to wash the brush one more time. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it. Let's take a, let's take an old number six filbert brush. One of the easiest ways I've found of making seascapes is to just take and put in a very loose basic sketch of where you want your major wave to be. So come right down here and let's, let's make a big decision. Maybe right in here. We'll touch and let's just put in a big old wave that lives right along there. He comes up here and maybe he will crash over right there. Put that out like so. And that's really all you need. That'll give you, give you sort of a guide to work from. Wash my little filbert. Okay, let's take a fan brush. We'll put a little white on it. And we'll make some of these little waves that are way back in the distance here. This is your light area right in here. So I'll start here. And just begin rubbing a little bit of color. This is just straight titanium white, but it's picking up the color that's on the canvas. So all these little things will just automatically happen. And just just let your hand sort of rock here. So you get little openings in there. There we go, a little few of them over here. And let it just work right on out. If this is our light area, start here and work toward the side, allowing it to get darker and darker as you work away from the, under that light area. There we go, see how easy that is? And it makes a beautiful little, looks like a little ocean back in there. There we are, just right on out. Okay, now that we need some big strong waves in there. A little more white on the brush, figure out where they're gonna be. And we'll come right up in here and go bloop. Gotta make those little noises. And maybe it comes right on back here. We don't, somewhere back in there. What the devil, we don't care. Maybe we'll have one more right here. Wherever you think they should live. Like so. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off the paint, wipe the paint off my fan brush. And very, very lightly here. I just want to grab this and begin blending it back. Just begin blending it back. Like so. See? But the angle here is very, very important. Very important. And save that little dark edge right there. See, that's what makes it settle out. Okay, now we do that right here. And then a super neat little way to make some happy little waves. And it's very easy. Very easy. Let's put a little more paint right in here. Like so. And then we can do the same thing here on this one. Just blend it back. There we go. There we go. See, these capes don't have to be all that hard. Okay, same thing in here. Put a little paint. I like this part. That's, that's the part that really crashes in there. Blend it back also. A little bit right in there. And you can see how that's beginning to, to make all your little little wave effects. And we'll come back and we'll highlight that and really bring some of them son of a guns out a little later on. But right now, we're just looking for background material. Wash your fan brush. And I have some paper towels over here that I dry the brush against. Just wash them in paint thinner and then dry them on a paper towel. Let's take We'll take some white, 
and the least, least little touch of yellow. I'm using the filbert brush here, but white and the least touch of cad yellow. Still should almost look white, but there is a little bit of yellow in there. Okay, let's make the fun part. Let's make the, the eye of the wave here, or the transparency, whatever you want to call it. Okay, just scrub in a little bit of color. Whew. And then let it start working back, 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 back. Darker, darker, darker as it gets away from it. Darker, darker, darker. Right on around. Okay, now then. You may want to do this step several times to achieve a desired lightness. And you can do it over and over and over till it gets as light and as bright as you want it. Okay, let's go back and throw in a little more color. Each time you do it, it's going to get a little brighter. A little bit brighter. But each time, clean your brush before you take it back into the, to the transparency. Otherwise, it'll, it'll drag that old dirty color right back in there and, and you'll be unhappy. One more time. Mm. That right, son of a gun's gonna shine now. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Of course, you become a, an expert brush washer by the time this one's over. Good dry two inch brush. Now I wanna go in here, and here all we're doing is just barely grazing it. Just barely, barely caressing it. We wanna soften that. Very gentle. Now as we come out here, we can begin working on the shape of this wave. See, like that. See there? See, just grab it and begin, begin forming this son of a gun. Isn't that easy? I knew you could do it. It's one of the nicest little ways to make seascapes I've ever seen. There, all I'm doing is knocking the loose paint off the brush. There we are. Okay, let me grab my old fan brush. Let's go into some of that white with a little touch of yellow. I mean, just the smallest, smallest amount possible smallest amount of yellow. And let's go right up in here and let's make this whole wave crashing over. Think how the water would, would turn over here and spill out. Okay, here it comes again. If you don't make those little sounds, now it won't work. Gotta make those little sounds. There it goes again. Okay, and right here. Well, that old water's just pouring over here. I like the water. I was born and raised in Florida, but then I moved off to Alaska. What a change. Spent about 12 years of my life in Alaska. Lived in Fairbanks for many, many years. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. Hmm. Okay. Now then, let's put some foam out here. I like to do the foam. That's a lot of fun. So for that, we'll get the old filbert brush. I want to take a little bit of, little bit of blue, a little bit of blue, and a little touch of bright red. Blue, a little touch of bright red. Like so, I'm gonna make sort of a lavender color. Okay, maybe a little bit of white in it. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, there we go. All right, let's start right up in here and just sort of scrub that in. Just give it a little push. Just see, push. Once again, make those little noises. This is just the shadow. We'll come back and, and put the nice parts on here in just a second. All we're doing now is just laying in a shadow. And this is gonna come up here and it's gonna crash and splash. And we'll put a big stone in there, but right now let's just have it. Oh, just really raising the devil. Okay. Now then, now we can put the we can put the frost in on this cake. Let's take a little bit of the white with a least little touch of cad yellow into it. Least little touch. Just load that brush full, both sides. Okay, let's go up here. Now then, start right out in here, 
and all you're doing is just pushing push on that upstroke is when that splash comes off the end. Turn the brush over. Use both sides of it. Okay, and then sometimes you have to wipe it off and reload it. But always wipe it when you reload it. Wipe it off so it's nice and clean and you come back in here and splash some more. Just all kinds of big splashes happening in here. Look at them. Mm. There we go. Here's a, well, it's just flying all up in the air, like so. Okay, now then, back to our big old two-inch brush. We're going to use just the corner of it, just the corner, and very lightly, making tiny, tiniest little circular strokes. Tiniest little circular strokes. We want to blend that together very lightly. Make it very soft. Just, just like so. There we go. There. Now you can blend this so much it'll go away and leave you. you just want to blend it till it gets nice and soft and looks like it's really churning and carrying on there. Okay. Okay, now then, let's go back into some white here. Let's have some fun. Maybe down in here. Right. Yep, right here. Maybe there's a... Another little wave that lives right in there. Just be brave. Throw that son of a gun in. Now then, I want to blend that back. Now you notice up here, that phthalo green we put in really shines. But down here where it's in the shadow areas, this is more in the shadows. Blue and black really work nice. Sort of, sort of have in your mind what you're going to do, and, and think about where you're laying the colors when you lay them on there. There we go. So now we can begin blending this together. Like that. Mm. And then a super nice, easy little way to make a, make a happy little. Happy little wave right there. Maybe this wave comes up here and splashes right over here. Maybe there's a big rock right underneath here. Who knows? Who knows? In your world, you can do anything that you want to do. See, maybe this comes down and splashes right up through here. I don't know, just wherever you want it. Just let the water go. And all we're using here is just titanium white. That's all we're using. Just let that water run up through there and blend it back very softly. Hmm. See there? You can do it. Maybe it comes here. Maybe we said there was a big stone there. There. So just wherever you want it. There. You can almost see through that. Mm. All kinds of things happening under this water. We don't know what's happening here. Again, creating some little foamy things that are just sort of coming right on down here. This helps form and shape your waves. You need some shape in here. There. Oh, just let them climb right up the wave. However you think they should go. Sort of follow the angles. But you can just lay in bright little highlights. Okay. I'm going to take my liner brush now and go 
right into titanium white with a little paint thinner on the brush, a little paint thinner just to thin the paint. And let's go right up in here and let's begin adding some of these nice little things. This is paint thinner with titanium white and we can put a little edge right out here on this wave. Just a happy little edge and maybe there's all kind of little things just splashing right on down here. But your paint needs to be very, very thin. The consistency of ink. And you can just put all these little rascals wherever you want them. But follow, follow the basic shape here. Even back in here. Some little things happening. And if you get one that's a little bit bright, all you have to do is just paint over it a couple of times and it'll pick up the dark color that's underneath and it'll blend right out to any degree of lightness or darkness that you want. So put in little light areas just by doing that. Maybe right down the crest of this here. Little things are happening. Kinds of little gooders. Okay. But once again, I know you're tired of hearing it. Follow the basic angle in this wave. Don't just throw these on at random. Let's go up in here. Put on a few little gooders. And put some little lines in here. Now at home, you have a lot of time and you can put all these little sonar guns in that you want. Just one after the other. And you can make one fantastic little seascape. And it's quite easy doing it this way. Quite easy. You'd be surprised what you can do. There. Okay, now right under this light area, you want your brightest. And as you work out, add more blue. A little more of the phthalo blue. So these out here aren't as bright. Just wherever you want them. Now then, tell you what, let's do. Let me find, let me find, there it is, old fan brush. I'll go right in some Van Dyke brown, a little dark sienna, just mix them together on the brush here. We said we was gonna have a big old stone right here, so let's come right along in here. And maybe, yep, there it is. Right down into the crasher. We have us a big old stone lives right there. Big old stone. He stood here for a thousand years or so and the waves have beat on him. That's how I feel. It's like I've been standing around for a thousand years and getting beat on. You know that feeling? Okay, now I'm gonna take <laughs> least little touch. That's not true. Least little touch of bright red. And just, just put the indication here and there. A little bit of highlight sparkling on this. I don't want to overdo. This is the way you can form all your rocks very easily. Just decide where you think they are. Drop them in. See there? Create all kinds of little little protrusions, little things. There they go. Right there. Right down here is another one. Just whatever. Whatever. And then we can take the brush that has, has the white on it. And we can come in here, and we can just sort of lift upward and make an indication like there's water spilling down over through here. Maybe back in here, there's little things happening. Okay. Now you can just begin adding some little details here and there. Tell you what, let's put another rock over in this side. Shoot, we don't want it left out. Maybe, 
Maybe there lives a rock here. See? That's all there is to it. Throw him in. Just throw him Van Dyke Brown Dark Sienna. It would take a little bright red. It would come right back in here. If this is our light source, it would be highlighted on the opposite side like that. Put in a few little gooders. Back to our fan brush here that has the white on it. Look at how that water just spilling all off here. All kinds of little things happening. Take the liner brush and really put some nice little water lines on where it's all coming off. Put all kinds of happy little details in here. So I say at home you have all kinds of time and you can just you can just work with this and put all these little little areas and little highlight spots. It'll really make a beautiful painting. Beautiful painting. You can even take a little color and punch in some holes like looks like there's holes in the foam. That easy. And I think we got a painting here that's ready for signature. Take a little bright red on my liner brush, thin it down with paint thinner, and I'll sign this one. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this little seascape. It'll teach you a great deal, give you hours and hours of pleasure. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless.